Hi, now we're going to talk about a, a, a task analysis versus needs analysis. In this case, what we did in our text, Kirkpatrick was talking about management training, and he did a training needs, and we have the uh, table with of great needs, of some need, of no need. Now, one thing that I'd like to say now is as you're gathering this data, there's so many ways to gather it. I would design it so it can be delivered mobile. Uh, web and paper. So I don't know which one your facility or wherever you may be working would operate the best, but if you build something so it can be delivered mobile on the web and uh, paper, you're well ahead of the game because you'll be covering uh, a multitude of areas. One thing for a needs analysis is for a uh, what am I doing? There we go. For um, a needs analysis, we need to, or a task analysis, we look at a specific tasks. So let's say, for instance, the reason why we're conducting the training is there are too many, the defect rate is too high for building X widget. And so we need to define the tasks that require to build that widget. And we get our SMEs and our population that we're talking with to define those steps and then define the frequency, criticality, and difficulty. And that's going to tell you what's important for the training and what's important for testing at the same time. And what's kind of neat is once you have it uh, pinned down, your training pinned down to something as specific as too, too many defects for X widget, you can actually build that metrics back to that widget and, and take, you don't get 100% credit, but you do get some of the credit, and that's how you can show your ROI for it. So that's a really important step. So one of the first steps a lot of people have to take is they have to uh, define the um, tech manual or manufacturing manual to build a part, or they come in multitude of different names. So the frequency, you rate from 1 to 10, and this was given... This was built through uh, the Biddle Group when I worked uh, with Lockheed Martin. We worked with the Biddle Group to come up with this criteria. And uh, the frequency, you do it about every hour for a 10, and one is you hardly ever do it. It's a rare occasion. So on that, let's say I'm the SME. I said, yeah, you know, I do that at least daily, so I'm going to give that an 8. And then I'm going to go over, how critical is finding that manual? Well, my airplane is not going to crash. But it is critical because they'll reject the part if they see me doing the work without the manual, something like that. So, you know what, that's, that's going to be about a seven. And per SMEs, you're going to get different responses slightly. That's why it's important to have uh, people in all aspects from the manufacturing plant. And then difficulty. You know what, it's not really hard to, to find that tech manual. I'd say it's about a three because they tell me what it is. And then guess what? It gives me a green. So it's important enough because of the frequency and the criticality of it. It's important enough that it needs to be in there. And so it's going to define it as green. And we need to have specific objectives for it. So the green says that. Now, let's say another one, say um, uh, the next step in the process after they do that would be they go through a multitude of steps and they come up to something like um, apply adhesive or something. And they come under their frequency. How often do you have to do that? Well, I do it, you know, about maybe every other day. So I'm, I'm going to give that a six. Okay, that's fine. How critical is it? Well, the part's destroyed if I don't do it correctly. So it is very critical uh, with them when that's not done right, part's destroyed. So I'm going to give that a, a nine. And then check out, then we come over to difficult. How difficult is it? And that's going to depend. That's where it really comes in between your, your apprentice and your master mechanic or whoever you're talking with. So me, I'm, gonna, I'm an apprentice, so I'm going to say, you know what? That's really hard for me to do, so I'm going to give it an 8. Oh, we got a score of 452, and it's blue. So guess what? That means that it better be covered in detail. So not only a specific objective, but we need something uh, hands-on to do this. And as you go through this, remember previously I said ask that magic question of what, um, how would you learn this the best? That is such an amazing question because the responses you get from that just outline your whole training course because you you rarely get somebody that says, well, I want to sit down and watch a PowerPoint presentation and learn how to do this. You're going to get some really effective uh, tools and tactics and strategies from 
your learner. So I'm going to post this little task analysis in one of our discussion forums is set up for that. Feel free to uh, look at it. Feel free to uh, throw it out. Feel free to do whatever you like with it. Borrow it if you need it. But that's my take for the manufacturing piece of this Kirkpatrick model.